bantamweight division matchup. She is about as accomplished a submission specialist as we have in this division. And candidly, not many women are able to stand up to that type of challenge. It's very difficult to try and fight a specialist in the position that they are so good at getting you to. Because it's her ability to trick you into grappling with her that makes her so special. And when you're on step two of a jiu-jitsu exchange, she's already graduated. Right. School's already out of session <laughs> by the time you're ready to go into the classroom. Because the moment you leave any limb hanging, you leave the arm down, the arm bar is already thrown up on you. You get too low on her hips, she throws up the triangle. So if you get too high with your body, she'll be rolling knee bar, ankle right. lock, leg lock. It does not matter. There are just so many submissions in her arsenal that you are constantly in danger. School's out for summer, champ. We'll see how quickly she can get this fight to the ground tonight. All right, so here she is, the decorated kickboxer, back for another run here in the UFC. Such a wide, vast array of kicks and punches in her arsenal, but it all comes back to elite technique. Oh, yeah, she has phenomenal technique. There is no wasted action. What I really love is the left hook. She does a great job of throwing her left hook behind her right hand. She throws her right hand, and the left hook follows. It's always so tight, it's always so clean, and then outside leg kicks, every combination end with a kick. When you think it's over, she's putting one more technique, one more opportunity to put some damage on you before you get to go back to space and go back to the safety of her out of your face, which will only last for a short period of time. She certainly has a crowd-pleasing style. No surprise to see her back in a high-profile slot here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a jiu-jitsu fighter holding a professional record of 12 wins, two losses. She stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of New York, New York, Jumbo. And now introducing her opponent, fighting out of the red corner, making her UFC debut here tonight. She stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 130 pounds. Boom, boom. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. Herb Dean, our referee for this one. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, round one is underway. This will be her UFC debut, so a lot of eyes on her tonight to see if her game will translate to the big show. No denying all the success she realized on the regional circuit, but this is a different animal. We'll see how she chooses to attack here in round one. Her ground and pound is downright scary in constant pursuit of the finish. I get it. She does a really good job of throwing punches with intent. She never just throws just to be thrown every punch is meant to land and every punch is meant to start a finish. Fighters back to their feet here. Straight punch lands. Just missing on the high kick there. Oh, head kick. Oh, you can't take pictures now. She has to react. She Whoa. has to go chase the finish. is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Oh! Back to the feet! Whoa! You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? Big head kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick.
was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. And there she is after the massive knockout. That is one they will be talking about for quite some time. The official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at one minute, 40 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, boom, boom. Well, there she is, and you can be sure there's going to be a long line at the after party tonight after what she was able to accomplish tonight. I mean, she will be as popular tonight as she's ever been because no one forgets a knockout like this. It'll be on TV. It'll be on the news. It'll be available everywhere she turns for the next few weeks, and this is a massive moment for her.